All right, first and foremost, I'd like to start off by saying Kohala Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash. All right. Kohalo Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to you brothers pushing this word in truth and sincerity. I am back with another video. The name of this video is going to be Ain't No Way. Okay. Ain't no way this man is going to be in power and rulership forever. And when I speak pertaining to this man, I am talking about Esau, all right? Esau Edom, all right? I'm going get to get right into it. Because this this devil, all right, Esau Edom, we call him the devil, all right, starting with his elites, the top in, elite international bankers, the ones that are behind the scenes orchestrating what you see or the uh, you, you see the uh, uh, fruit, okay, of the earth right now. You see the, the, that the earth is in mourning. All right, the people are in mourning. Why? Because like the scriptures in Proverbs say, when the when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Okay, so you got your elite international bankers who are going to be the first crop, okay, of slavery, all right, after this third world's war. All right, ain't no way the Heavenly Father set these, these devils up to be in power forever. All right, so I'm going to get right into it. Let me jump to uh, 2nd Ezra. Let's see, the 6 and I'll start at verse 7. 2nd Ezra 6 and 7, it says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? All right. Another word for times that we can use is the age. Okay, because we're, we're transitioning, believe it or not, into another age. All right, we're in... One person or one people have ruled over the earth and another people are going to rule in their stead. All right. It says, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So you have the um, infamous uh, uh, Esau and Jacob um, picture, all right, which that depicted, okay, Esau coming out the womb first, but Jacob holding his uh, feet, by holding his feet or holding his ankle, all right? And that's synonymous, all right? Because even though Esau came out the wound of Rebekah first, all right, Jacob, which holds Esau's, all right, holds Esau's ankle, holds him at the ankle, all right, he got the birthright. Yaiquab, Jacob, all right, he is the prince of the power. He is the prince with God, the most high, okay? The Most High bless Jacob. That's why the scripture says, it says in uh, verse um, verse 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right? It says the hand, it said the hand of man is betwixt the heel and the hand. Other questions, Ezra, ask thou not. All right? But it says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that followeth, all right? And these devils, the Most High created these Edomites, and these Edomites know subliminally in their subconscious that something ain't right, all right? Something's changing, okay? Yeah, changing the rulership, all right? In which you were in power, and now you're in a decline, and as you become in a decline, you get more dangerous because you you start to reverberate, okay, back to your nature, all right, which is a violent man, all right, a thief, a liar, a deceiver, a man of blood, all right. Uh, Job 14 and 4 says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one, okay? So the Most High made you, okay, to take peace from the earth, all right? It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. 
Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So the Most High have it appointed Esau a time that he would be in rulership, he would be in power. And in that appointed time, the Most High would take him out of power. All right, bringing me to Job 20 and 4. It reads, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? See, this is what has been established upon earth. That if there's wickedness on earth, it's only for a season. It's only temporary. Okay. And when we, as we enter into the kingdom of heaven, Lord's will. All right. And the heavenly father opening up the truth. All right. Not only to, you know, uh, the ones that are, uh, are listening now. Okay. But the ones that, uh, that, that are listening, but it's not for them. It's going to be shown that this devil in the course of hist the history of the earth only ruled but for a short time. All right. According to the Lord, one day is a thousand years to us. It seems like this man have been in rulership for a long period of time, but this is nothing. This is as of yesterday to our heavenly father. All right. And the scriptures say, knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. Though his excellency mount up to the to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Because it's going to come a time where this man, he's in power and you see him on television. He has the presidency. All right. Um, when you look at him as a, 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 a progress in the world, his ideas as bringing forth progress and change, but it's going to come a time where the most high is going to reveal that he is the wicked. All right. He's going to reveal that he's the wicked and he's going to take them out of power and they're not going to be so prevalent in the earth. All right. Their ideas are not going to be common and talked about in the earth. All right. Because when their ideas or somebody mentions their ideas of yesteryears. All right. Of yesteryears, which I'm speaking of future, speaking of now, I'm speaking in the future tense. All right. Referring to now. All right. This devil is in power. He destroyed the earth. All right. Let me get this um, in uh, Second Thessalonians. This is a book of, um, uh, yeah, I think it's Second Thessalonians 2. Yeah, this is uh, Second Thessalonians 2, verse 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. All right. Except that there should come a falling away first and that and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition, the son of destruction, all right? So we as Israelites, all right, we discontinued from our heritage. And in the awakening of who we are, it's being shown who the son of perdition is by the actions and the history, okay, of what happened to us as a people and who did it to us as a people and what they're pushing forth into the earth. All right. It says who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Yeah, because Esau Edom. All right. When he established the Americas. All right. He took on the Bible as his uh, uh, he took on the Bible. OK, as, as the religion of the land. All right. And he exalted his image. All right. And he called himself the angels. All right. He called himself the people of the Lord. All right. He called himself uh, the son of the most high. All right. And he taught the world that he he was. All right. But that's not the case. That's why Yahweh Shai 
has to come back, all right, with great power. And I'm going to keep continue reading. It says, it says, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withhold if that he might be revealed in his time. So this is his time to be revealed, all right, that he's the son of perdition, all right? It says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let. And that's the most side that's letting this devil be in power and exalt his power and deceive the people through his witchcraft. All right. That mystery of iniquity was already working back then 2000 years ago during the time of the Roman Empire. All right. During the time of the uh, 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 Greeks. All right. Because the scriptures say that. When Alexander the uh, the Greek, okay, got, came on the scene, just roughly paraphrasing, evils multiplied upon the earth, all right? And that's to show you who the wicked is, all right? For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So Yahweh Shah is coming back to dispel all the lies. All right. And the prophets, all right, are here to declare the judgments that that same power, his son, Yahweh Shai, is going to bring forth the judgments upon the earth. All right. To let, let it be known that there is judgment for wickedness. Okay. Let me bring this out. This is uh, Proverbs. This is for the, the wicked of our people that run to the aid of Esau and Edom. All right. Not understanding how this deal is going down, how this deal is uh, uh, going, to out, going to play out. All right. The elites of Esau and Edom is going to bring forth atrocities committed in this third world's war. And they're going to find a way to demonize you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, that resist their digital implantable device that they want to uh, implement, all right? And you're going to have those join hand in hand with them, all right, to carry out their agenda of our people, all right? Um, this is uh, Proverbs. I'm going to read a few out of Proverbs 11. This is Proverbs 11 and uh, 18. It says, the wicked worketh for deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. Okay? Because there's going to be a reward for those that stand stiffly, all right, for the name of the Lord, all right? Mainly crowns upon their heads, pursuing to uh, second Ezra, all right? The vision that the, the prophet Ezra saw, all right? But right now, the wicked are working a deceitful work, okay? Let me jump down to 21. Uh, Proverbs uh, 11 and 21, it says, Though hand joined in hand, all right, the wicked shall not be unpunished, okay? And that's, you have our people in, in league with Esau, Edom, all right? You get these different jobs, you... um. You get you get these different state jobs. You you, you become a, 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 a agent of the state by becoming a police officer or, or, or a military man, and you build a com camaraderie with Edomites. Okay, you invite them over, you know, for 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 a beer. All right, they're your friend. You invite them over for the cookout, you know. And but but you know what that that's been the history of Israel going back to the, the Roman Empire. All right, the Mediterranean. Our, our people always intertwine themselves with Esau and Edom, all right? But the scriptures say, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered, okay? And that's that's ultimately goes for the, for the last days, all right? Because uh, you're going to have our people in line with, in league with Esau, all right? To, to uh, 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 snitch out or rat out the men that believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? So though you join hand 
join hand in hand to work with Esau, all right, to, to demonize the men that proclaim the word of Yahweh Bashim was shy. All right. The wicked still not going to go unpunished. And the seed of the righteous in which you, you try to uh, join hand in hand. All right. To uh, to um, uh, bring some forth of uh, to bring forth some type of uh, trouble to the Lord's elect, to the righteous. The scripture said that the righteous shall be delivered, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. All right. And I'm going to jump down. I'm going to read verse 23. It says, the desire of the righteous is only good. The de to see the downfall of the wicked. That's the desire of the righteous. It says, the desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. So the wicked, their expectation is wrath from the Almighty, from the Heavenly Father. All right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, the Lord is going to bring forth his wrath. Let me bring this out. This is Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 1. It says, Hear therefore, ye kings, and understand. It says, Learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear ye that rule the people in glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord, and sovereignty from the highest. So any leader, any ruler, his power is given of the Heavenly Father, the power in which we worship and we declare, all right, because the Lord put, this, he put his spirit upon his people, his, his elect, all right, Lord's will, we're, we're part of his elect. We've got the, we've, we've heard the calling, all right, scriptures say uh, many have call, called, but few are chosen, all right, among the men that you have teaching on the streets of Yahweh Bashim, I mean, teaching on the streets, all right. They're men of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. They come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha in sincerity, all right. And they're ordained of the Heavenly Father to to uh uh, uh basically to uh bring forth judgment and tell the nations and tell the leaders and the heads of the nations their judgment and and the judgment that's about to come upon the earth, all right. And basically, uh, from observation and from reading the scriptures, ain't no way that this current trajectory of the earth can't lead in nothing but a calamity and the calamity that we're expecting our expectation is the calamity that the scriptures and the visions that the, that the prophets have spoken for in the scriptures spoken forth in the scriptures all right it says for power is given you of the lord and sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search out your counsels all your secret meetings all right, the Lord is going to try your work. All, all the, the, the the vices, the evil imaginations that have been put forth in the earth. All right, the Lord is making inquisition. All right, we see these things. The scriptures say that the innocent, all right, the innocent blood cry upon the Lord day and night. All right, the souls of the just complain continually to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh When we make our prayers, all right, in, in, in our inwards, there's nothing but distrust. There's, you know, it's always something. It's always a burden upon us. And, and guess what? We cast it upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? We, we give the Lord our burdens. We tell him our burdens. All right? And in turn, he give us these words to speak unto the, unto the world through YouTube. All right? You know, to, to, to declare and anticipate the coming of his son, Yahweh Shai. All right? The deliverer. All right, so that we be delivered from all of these distresses and these afflictions that, that, are, that, are, that are brought forth upon us. We acknowledge our offense. We have sinned against the Lord. All right, we found out that we're Israelites. All right, and we're paying our vows. All right, one of our vows is to go out to the highways and hedges and speak this word. All right, ain't no way, man, that there ain't no cal cal uh, calamity is not going to come. It's one thing after another, man. All right. Just last week, you had the debt ceiling debate and the anticipation of that. Now, this week, you have the, 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 the smoke from the from the wildfires. All right. It's one thing after another, man. All right. And it's only going to get worse. All right. It says, because being ministers of his kingdom, talking about these these elites. All right. The kings of the earth. 
All right, you're be you 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 as rulers. All right, you're supposed to be servants to the Lord. Okay, upon earth, the, the Most High put you in a position of power, and look what you've done to the earth. You've corrupted it. All right, you turned it into to 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 hell basically. It's hell upon earth, man. The people are in hell and they don't even know it yet. But they're going to know it soon when these wars break out. All right. And and, and everything, uh, 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 the day of the Lord, get closer. All right. It says, because being ministers of his kingdom, ye have not judged the right, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the Most High. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. All right. And shout out to the rulers of the earth, man. The Most High is going to bring this calamity. You're served of the field, all right? You're served of the field. The people are going to be in, in distrust. You think that you're going to just hide in, in the caves and be able to just uh, resurface, all right? Once this this hell that you, you, you're, 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 you're colluding, all right? There's a conspiracy going on, man. And nobody has the power to step up, okay, against this conspiracy that's happening to the world, man. But Yahweh Shah is coming back, all right, to take down these different rulers of the nations, man. And I guess the people that believe that, all right, the, the powers that be, these same powers that be, they, you're going to deem them them terrorists, man, or whatever, you, you're going to classify them and subject them. To your system, man. And then who who's going to protect us against that? Well, according to the scriptures, Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to protect his elect. All right? So ain't no way, man. Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way. You have to have faith, man. Scriptures speak about faith in um, Hebrews 11. All right? So we're not blinded by the God of this world. All right? Which is Satan. All right? We're, we're, we have the, the God, the living God. All right, who the earth is going to tremble at. All right, but with that, call Halal Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you, brothers, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Until the next episode, Shalom.